Hey, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Yeah. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. So we've had our breakfast and our cozy warm time, and now some of the kids have been out to play and already gone back home. Some stayed out. Right now, uh, Natalie and Aria are still in the house, or they've gone back to the house. Melissa's getting Luna out. Luna loves snow. Huh. Did she knock you down in it? So the snow is still out, but the high today is 40, I think 41 or 42. So it'll melt. It's supposed to snow again tomorrow. I hope it's not too windy on the camera. But yeah, we thought we'd come out and enjoy our Oklahoma wonderland. Huh. Well, it was still nice. Me and Aaron got dressed to actually come out here with Aria because we didn't want her across in this field without us. But by the time we got dressed, she was done, so. Just cause she's picky about jackets and how they feel. Yeah. None of them felt good. So she only wanted to wear a hoodie and she got cold. It's really not that bad out here though. Mr. Hudson, say good morning. I, would have to put on I still have to take his six month photos. He's been six months for two days. Yeah. And I haven't taken his photo yet. I always do it on his little growth mat and I keep forgetting. So hopefully today that can happen. He's got a cute new outfit from friends to wear, so. I think I'll wear that for Christmas too. It's very cute. If I take his picture today, I'll show you the outfit. Oh yeah, you wrote Liam. Everyone will know Liam was here. They'll be like, who is this Liam? Wandering the woods. <laughs> you gonna write something else now? What are you gonna write? Oh, Liam again? Yes. You're just signing everywhere. It's like you're famous or something. Has anyone made a snow angel? Yeah, I have. Yeah? one of the snowmen the kid made yesterday. Still standing. He's cute. One of them fell down? No, I kicked him because he oh, you kicked him. was. Oh, and one's in our yard, huh? Does he have a name? His name is Blizzard. Blizzard. Oh, don't knock him down. Here's the one at our house. Does he have a name? Oh, he has a pine cone nose. It's not sticking today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> What are you working on this morning? Japanese. Yes, Japanese. What kind? Katakana. Katakana. Yesterday I did that one. Oh, Christmas colors. Yeah, that's what I did. That's, that's fun. And then... You've been working on oh, yesterday Katakana. Yesterday I did that too. You did that and that yesterday? Yeah. And this is today? Yeah. Cool. Alright, we've decided to make potato soup for lunch. So Violet shredded up some onions for us here, minced them all up, didn't you? We got butter. We're gonna saute this. Well, it doesn't want to come out, Violet. There we go. I'm gonna saute that in there with the butter, and I'm gonna peel some potatoes. You can go ahead and pour it in there with the butter. cheese and sauteed that with our butter to melt it. We've added in all our potatoes and our seasoning. I'm all out of pepper, you guys. How sad is that? But we seasoned it up. Now we're going to put the lid on and pressure cook this for 10 minutes. All right, this is all done. It smells heavenly. I'm going to add in some milk. I might do more than that. That was just what was left in there. And we like to mix our sour cream in. So I'm going to dump in this is almost full, but not quite. All that. There we go. Let's get the rest of that out. 
And you could obviously just garnish it on top, but we like to mix in our sour cream. I really wish we had bacon or bacon bits. Yum. got in the mail it's December so it's just like mail month I won this in a giveaway like go giveaways I will link the company down below I honestly don't even remember now it's really hard to say like Polino Bellino or something <laughs> yeah that's not right Polino what was it oh my goodness that's what it is Panolino Bambino Panolino Bambino Panolino Bambino but anyway look Aaron saw it and he was like oh it's a little house in the prairie <laughs> it's just a barnyard and this is a diaper cover not a pocket diaper but I use those too but it's so cute. It feels like really good quality too. So anyway. And then my sweet friend Jessica over at Fields Full House here on YouTube sent me a Christmas card. How sweet is that? She is such a sweet lady. If you don't watch her, you really should. It's Fields Full House. I'll link her down below. Anyway, so that was really sweet. Thank you for sending that, Jessica. Oh my gosh, my hair. <laughs> I've been rocking Hudson. Oh no. I'll ignore my hair. Hold on. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. No. Yeah. It can't detain. I have to go brush my teeth or something. Ew. It won't come out of my Ew. mouth. Ew. Ew. Oh. My hair. Okay. Do not buy those. Let me see. Let me see the I showed them. This for Maldi. Uh, soft gingerbread iced and chocolate covered gingerbread on wafers. No. These are better. <laughs> yes. Don't buy that. It like, won't come out of my teeth. Uh uh. Did y'all like that? Eh. You you said eh? They look disgusting. Oh, it is like oh. if you took a pine needle oh. and you dipped it in black licorice and you made someone eat it. Mm, Wait, it's like that? Way metal. We're gonna go with little Debbie. <laughs> uh, Wait, little Debbie me? wins. Wait. She wins over this winter. Oh, that's German, maybe. Winter Nacht. We're not buying you Winter Nacht. We're sticking with little Debbie. Someone give me a Christmas tree cake. Oh, that is awful. It's like a licorice. I hate licorice. Black licorice. Oh and, and Natalie and Violet were eating it and we're kind of like, mm, you know. How can you eat those? Oh, they're a little weird. I was like, they kind of taste like they were not fresh, you know, like. No, well. Yeah, but no. Like, I like gingerbread. Um, that's not gingerbread. Not that's pine needle and black licorice. Okay. Gunk. Did you try it? I'm not trying it. Yeah, it would be like eating yeah, a weird. pine needle licorice cincy. Like the texture is just... Take a bite. Let's get your reaction on camera. You can spit it out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mm, that smells weird, too. Did you take a bite? Hardly. She didn't take a bite. Ugh. <laughs> it's really bad. I'm sorry I shared that in a grocery haul. I really hope no one went and bought that. Don't buy that. Again, ignore my hair. I was rocking Hudson and leaning against the chair. And anyway, that's crazy. Melissa had the idea. We still have one cookie that's not been bitten into because there's enough for everybody. We're going to save it. Okay. I have it on a nice little napkin here. We're gonna tell Aaron they were so good. We you saved you friend. one. We left it for you. And then I'll tell y'all the next day what he says. We're gonna act like we love them. We'll see what he says. What do you think daddy's gonna say? What do you think daddy's gonna say? Huh? He's got no smiles for y'all. Who's that baby? Is he the cutest baby? Who is it? It's the husband. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna send him a voice message. Aria, stop whining, honey. She's in a whiny mood, she's in it. Oh my goodness, those gingerbread cookies were so good, so good. But we saved you one, so um, yeah, eat it when you get home, so good. We'll try to save it, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have some afternoon coffee. I'm trying to see which one I want, the spiced eggnog, I think it was called, it was really good. She got this at Big Lots, by the way. In case you have one of those and you want to go, I think I'll go get more. I don't like peppermint things, so I'm going to save candy cane 
and peppermint mocha for Aaron. I don't like coffee that's peppermint. I might do Christmas cookie or roasted chestnut. I'm going to do roasted chestnut. Chocolate coconut blizzard coffee. Well, that sounds good, too. I'm going to skip this gingerbread one for now because that gingerbread cookie just, like, ruined that for me for a minute. We're going to go with roasted chestnut. No, cho no, yes, no, yes. Ah! Which one what should we pick? Chocolate coconut blizzard, roasted chestnut. We're taking too long to decide. We're going to do roasted chestnut because I just don't feel like sweet after that nasty cookie. So we're going to make this and then we're going to sit down and do a read aloud. The new kitty. She took him for me. Natalie has him for some reason. Because he woke this up This is and Theo. He huh? He's Theodore. He's yeah. the adorable. He's our little kitty. The adorable. <laughs> the adorable. Melissa loves her little kitty. This smells delicious, by the way. The baby get tired of being on the ground. We have a lot of snow jackets and snowshoes by our front door right now. Anyway, we're going to sit and work on this book while they do some coloring. We're just going to kind of plow through and see if we can get a couple of chapters done. We've skipped a couple of days, so we're going to do that. Drink coffee, color, live the good homeschool life. Luna is the perfect homeschool dog, you see. She's just so helpful and entertaining. As dusty and musty as that house was, it was full of treasures. All Marley and Joe could do was run around looking and yelling at each other. Look! Look at this! Hudson's on a rolling mission here while I read. Huh? He's just rolling all around. Luna doesn't seem to mind that either. He's like, I'm going to get that toy. Huh? <laughs> Did y'all pick a time period? Yeah, we're in the 1860s. 1860s? Yes. Okay. So that, that'd be more interesting than 1960s. Yeah, and we can't eat microwave. Can we use a stove? Well, they wouldn't have had a... You look at what kind of stove they had. But ours is gas, so we could just do the best what we have. Mm. They would have made a fire, but we're not going to go make a fire. Okay, the girls are trying to... They want to live like a certain time period for a day. Yes. So, what is that era called? 1860s. Most errors have a name, like a Tudor, or Victorian, or Edwardian. Edwardian? I've never heard that. <laughs> when King Edward was a king, it would be Edwardian. Uh, I have no idea. If you can figure it out, maybe we can find one of those shows I was telling you where they live for 24 hours like that. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. So, alright, well let me know. Okay. Keep working. Alright, you ready? Are you going to let me beat you? <laughs> Talk to your mother? No? No emoji. All right, this deck comes with like cards you can write on. What are you going to write? Skip? Your turn too. Oh, skip my turn two times. Oh, man. Woo. Zoom. Woo. Zoom. Woo. Zoom. Show me your winning dance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Liam won. All right, me and Liam are playing a math game. I write a math problem. If he gets it right, he gets to write me one. If I get it right, I get to write him one. But if we get it wrong, then the same person gets to keep writing the question until the other person can get it right. See, I'm about ready for a nap. Yeah? Uh-huh. But he doesn't want me to put him down. Yeah? Can you tell him? Oh, yeah, look at that. Some yawn action. That is a very long... Oh, it's subtraction. All right. I gotta go do my math homework, y'all. All right. More Japanese school with sister. Yes. I gotta go put Hudson to sleep for his nap. Looking good. Violet has been practicing the Japanese alphabet. You want to show us? That's good. Alright, I'm going to rock Hudson down for his last nap of the day. Rock him down, you know what I mean. Rock him to sleep. For his last nap of the day, he's been over here like kind of talking while he nurses. <laughs> and then we're going to do chore time. So, it's not too bad today. But when kids go in and out of the snow, it makes for a lot of shoes and jackets. Messy area there. But anyway, I'm going to get him down. Then we're going to do chore time. And I am hungry. I have not eaten since that soup earlier. I'm starving. So, chore time, snack time, get ready for bedtime. We've almost made it to another bedtime. 
Woo! <laughs> Lately at bedtime, I've been watching um, documentaries about different phases of old English life. Like you heard me talking to the girls earlier, like Victorian, Edwardian, the Tudor period, things like that. And I ran across this channel. I don't know what it's called, but they do like 24 hours in different time periods. And that's been kind of fun. Um, so that's what I've been watching for my bedtime shows. We all have different bedtime shows that we have at night. Um, you watch Japanese stuff? Um, my littlest ones are not allowed to watch YouTube at night, but we all go to bed at 8 and we all have a certain amount of time we're allowed to watch TV and that's what I've been watching, which of course I can watch TV as long as I want, but I usually fall asleep to that. So Aaron comes home <laughs> to that and he turns it to Andy Griffith, which is fine because um, I'm asleep. And I only know when I get up to feed Hudson, I see that he's watching Andy Griffith. But anyway, that's what I fall asleep to. So maybe I will learn things. What is it called? Like through osmosis? Is that where you learn when you're not really thinking? Like you're asleep like and you play it? Maybe that's what it's called. I don't know. I don't even know why I'm telling you all that. Picked up my camera to say I'm going to put Hudson to sleep and then do chores. But now you have that tidbit of information too. Oh. You do all as. That's as. Like, we do Very all Very nice. Thank you. 